Three. All was going well. People looked at they were enjoying helping people. But then yet again, something went wrong. Fire! Fire! There's a fire on the market street! Oh no! Fire! Free! You guys, you must stay! We yes, please help. stay! <laughs> there was no... Once again, they were left with no one to help them save the people. But Windrunner, we must save these people. We can't let them run away like that. It's no use. People keep thinking of themselves. Oh, we, but, but we must get out of here though. The fire will come this way. You, Moonshadow, and Robin will have to stay here. I'll go get Red Rider and the wagon. The streets seemed more empty now, which made the three even more scared for Wind Rider's return. They were all very anxious for fear that another robber would come without Wind Rider being there. After what seemed like years, they heard the steady clopping of their horse, Red Rabbit, and saw Wind Rider in a wagon coming up the street. Lippity clop! Lippity clop! Lippity clop! Okay, okay, we're ready. All right, we gotta sit here. And they were on their way to Golden Gate Park. Wind Rider, who was still holding his club, did not like what he saw. The streets were empty. The houses that were still standing were tilted. And the whole street was covered with rubble. Dead horses were everywhere. And every once in a while, they heard gunshots. Finally, they reached Golden Gate Park. There were thousands of other people there, white and tang, healthy as well as injured. They dropped off their patients at a doctor who was at the park. Lefty was also there. Well, you did all right for yourself. Well, I should say the same for you, although you are rather filthy. What about the others? Equia is filthy, but also intact. Uncle sent me to check on you. We'll be all right. I also came to get your help. Uncle won't leave. That will fool. Will you come and help? Yes, but first, let's meet my friends. Okay. Met Miss Whitlaw and Robin, and found out not only that Miss Whitlaw was a good cook, but very nice for a demon also. We must go and get our stupid, my stupid uncle to leave his home. Well, we'll meet you back here. All right. Wind Rider, Moonshadow, and Lefty started to go off and get uncle. While they were on their way, they saw many people. They were different now after the earthquake. Once rich, now they were poor. The mansions had fallen, and it ha still hasn't sunk in with them. It was a strange sight. Finally, they reached the company. Uncle's company. They walked inside, and there was Uncle. Well, 
it is as they say. Fools and children have all the luck, and you didn't, the dragon didn't catch you. Any dragon will be foolish enough to shake your household, man. Moonshadow, are you thirsty? Yes. Do you have any water? No, only his wine collection. Save the wine for later. <laughs> well, let's just pack my stuff and get on over to the park, shall we? Right. They load up the car and go to the park where they meet all of their friends. Where there's more trouble in store for them. But that's a whole other story.